The following video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. Visit yellowjacket.com to find out why Yellow Jacket is the industry standard in refrigerant hoses, tools, manifolds, and vacuum pumps, and many other tools. Good morning guys we're doing a getting ready to pump this unit down a little nordine unit uh the evaporator is completely plugged up so i've got the liquid line shut off got my little stub gauge on got us a nice ball valve here we're gonna pop it down and then we're gonna go cut the evaporator out and take it out and get y'all a shot uh, this one here is pretty damn bad We got it down to just about zero. Make sure this ball valve is turned off all the way. Yeah, it is. All right, that'll work. Guys, I'd say this one's just a little dirty. And that's not that thin stuff you can peel off either. I'm gonna have to hit that a couple times with cleaner. So we're gonna get after it. All right, we got our coil gun loaded up and ready. We're gonna try to hit some of this heavy stuff first. don't like this coil gun some of you do but to the ones that don't and think a pump-up sprayer is better that's your opinion the fact is this thing kicks a pump-up sprayer's ass anyway this thing kicks a pump-up sprayer's ass a lot of you guys are fans of refrigeration technologies john pastorello i had him on the podcast when i was podcasting he even recommends a foam gun 
Now, not this brand on, obviously, but his brand is not in my supply house as I wish it was. I need to talk to him about getting one. But a lot of you say it uses too much cleaner, yada, yada, yada. Well, that's why they have different settings on it. But the fact is, is that this thing does a hell of a better job than a pump up sprayer. And if you set it on the right setting and you know how to clean a coil, you don't use as much cleaner as you think you do. done to sway just just gotta put the doors back on about to go start the vacuum sorry i couldn't film the uh rinsing process at a couple helicopters all right guys i have the system in a vacuum yes man's got a micron gauge but i don't trust it so i use the one that's provided to me we're gonna let this run a while, try to get below 500 microns. We're doing a good job so far we're at 620. So uh, after that, well, I'm gonna go inside right now and put the button up the uh, air handler and uh, you know get all that done. Then come out here, and let the gas loose, and then we'll start it up. All right, guys, our unit is up and running. Head pressure and that sub cooling doesn't look good working with a piston, but good god, we gotta give it time to settle down. Though it literally just started, somebody probably overcharged the piss out of it with that coil like that. So we'll give it time to settle down and see where she ends up. All right, guys, we're done with that. Sorry, I didn't get any more film. The kids were running around playing and screaming, so just wouldn't have been good for video. But we got it clean. And it's cooling well. It was overcharged. Had to uh, take some gas out. We did that, got our cooling. So, all right. Uh, I just want to make a quick statement here about the capacitor video, uh, a couple videos back where I was making the, uh, you know, the comments and stuff. I didn't do that to upset anybody. And a lot of, uh, some people got upset and got their feelings hurt. Uh, the guy that made the video uh, didn't like it. He messaged me. So that video wasn't intended to hurt his feelings or anybody else's. So if I did that, I apologize. I didn't, you know, I didn't think we were, some of us were that sensitive. But it was just making a point that just because it's not on camera doesn't mean it's not getting done. It wasn't intended to hurt anybody's feelings. So again, if I did that, if I offended you or hurt your or hurt or hurt your feelings, I do apologize. So I just uh, I try to get along with everybody. Most people are the same way. Some are not. But I just wanted to make that statement that, you know, I was just, you know, I admitted in the video that I was just making, you know, just having some fun, making some comments, and 
didn't I mean didn't mean to uh, hurt anybody's feelings so again I apologize if I did that all right well that one's done I want to thank you guys for watching thank you for the support and we'll see you guys on the next one